Look. So let's look at the following example in which we're going to calculate the efficiency of our heat engine inside our truck. Suppose a certain truck releases 1.257 times 10 to the 8 joules of energy per every gallon of gasoline that it burns. If the truck travels with a speed of 26.4 meters per second and averages 38,000 meters per gallon, which requires a power of 25 horsepower, calculate the efficiency of the heat engine inside the truck. Recall that one horsepower is equal to 746 joules per second. So let's begin by looking at the following schematic of our heat engine inside our truck. So we know that every single time the truck burns one gallon of gasoline, it generates this quantity of heat, this quantity of energy. Now, some of this energy is transformed into mechanical energy. It's transformed into the network. The rest of that energy is released, is discharged into the environment in the form of heat. Now, we essentially want to calculate how much of this energy is transformed into mechanical energy that the car could actually use. If we find that value, if we find the net work per gallon, we can use this quantity and this equation to calculate the efficiency of the heat engine. Recall that the efficiency of the heat engine is given by the ratio of the net work divided by QH, where QH in this case is this quantity. So, every time the truck's heat engine burns one gallon of gasoline, how much thermal energy is transformed into mechanical energy? So let's suppose the car burns one gallon of gasoline. We want to determine how much work is produced. So to calculate how much work is produced, we essentially take the distance, divide that by the speed, and that gives us the time it takes for our truck to burn one gallon of gasoline. And we can use that then to calculate the net work. So the total distance our car travels when it burns one gallon is given to be 38,000 meters. We take that value, divide that by the speed, and that gives us the seconds. So 1,439 seconds. This is the time it takes the car to use one gallon of gasoline. So now we must convert our horsepower into joules per second. So we know that there is one horsepower or one horsepower is equal to 746 joules per second. So because our car requires 25 HP, we take this quantity and multiply it by 25. So 25 multiplied by 746 joules per second gives us the power that our car requires. So joules per second. And then if we multiply that quantity by the time, that will give us how much work our car does, how much of this quantity of energy is transformed into mechanical energy. So 25 multiplied by 746 multiplied by 1439 seconds. Notice our seconds will cancel and we're left with the following quantity. So 26,837,350 joules of energy. So this quantity essentially represents the amount of thermal energy that is converted into mechanical energy per every single gallon that the truck uses. So in the final step, we take this equation and we use it. So we take this value, which is our network, and we divide it by the QH, which is this quantity, and we get about 0.21. So our heat engine is 21% efficient in converting thermal energy into mechanical energy. So one fifth of that heat is is converted into work.